What's up, family? Man, <laughs> it's crazy how life works. Life is such a beautiful thing when you're in alignment. Life is so precious, so beautiful when you're in alignment. And I'm not talking about alignment to chaos, alignment to drama and the trauma of your lives. I'm talking about alignment with God. You know what I mean? Now, this has nothing to do with religion. Man, we have to grow up. I say that all the time. Man, family, March 18th, man, I hit a low. I hit a real low. You know, it was, and I've shared this, you know, man, it was the most humiliating, embarrassing thing I've ever had to go through. March 18th. That was 18 days ago. And it's crazy. The joy, the peace, the happiness that I have now. 18 days ago. Man, I had hit rock bottom. 18 days ago, I was so messed up, so confused, so angry, so hurt. So humiliated. So angry. And 18 days later, man, <laughs> for the person that caused me so much pain, so much embarrassment, I bless you. I thank you. For the people that God has sent into my life. to help restore the joy, to help restore the peace. I bless you. God bless you. Thank you. See, here's the interesting thing about life, family. Had the person not hurt me so bad, had the person not humiliated me so bad, had the person not done what they did, God couldn't have used these other people right here to bless me the way they did. See, so often in life, we get caught up on the woe is me. We get caught up on, man, look at what I'm going through. Look at who did with the woe. You know what I mean? And we get so caught up being a victim. We get caught up on all the pain, the hurt, the anger, the embarrassment, just the losses, you know, all of that. We get caught up on that stuff. And that takes us out of alignment with God. Because we don't, at that time, we can't see that, man. God has something that he's going to bless you with. God has something in store for you. But we don't see that. Because we're looking behind us at what we lost. We're looking behind us at our hurt and everything else. And God is trying to show us, no, no, no. That's behind you. That's behind you. It is what it is. I know it hurts you. I know, man, you, you, you're, you're, you're missing that and, and all that other stuff. But God is saying, man, look ahead. There's brighter days coming. Look ahead. Reclaim your joy. Reclaim your peace. Reclaim your happiness. Reclaim your excitement. Man. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's, it's, it's weird because last night I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep at all. You know, just... Pure excitement. So much energy just running through me. But I knew I had to get to sleep. But I couldn't sleep. I was so overwhelmed. With the amount of love I had been shown. I was so overwhelmed. With the blessings that God had brought into my life. You 
you can have all the peace, all the love, all the joy that you want in life. You can have all the misery you want to. You can have all the pain, all the suffering, all the depression, all the victim thoughts, the hatred, the animosity, the bitterness. You can have all of that too, if that's what you want. Man, I choose love. I choose happiness. I choose love. I choose love. I'm always gonna choose love. I choose joy. I choose peace. Peace of mind. We have to grow up. We have to grow up. See, part of growing up is saying, okay, you know what? I release the pain, the hurt, the embarrassment, the shame, the guilt, the animosity, the hatred, the bitterness. I release everything negative that keeps me out of alignment with God. I release everything negative that keeps me out of alignment with joy, with my peace of mind, with happiness, with love. The choice is yours. The choice has always been yours. Sometimes we don't realize how blessed we are how loved we are until we have to go through a dark stage in life, until we have to go through a dark period in life, until we have to go through a loss in life. And then we'll realize, man, God, thank you. Man, somebody to hate me that much to do that God thank you I didn't understand that hatred to try to destroy me to crush me to break me to humiliate me I couldn't understand that hatred and truth be told, I still don't. But I know that everything's always working out for me. And because everything's always working out for me, man, I release that. And I have so much joy. I have so much peace. So much happiness. I look around and it's like, man, I'm blessed. I'm so blessed. And I'm not saying that just to say it. I am. I am. My hope and prayer is that you understand that you can have this peace, this love, this joy, this happiness too. It can be bubbling over within you. Just like it is with me. You can have the rage, the anger, the hatred, the animal. You can have all that too. The choice is yours. It's not somebody else's. And it doesn't matter what they've done. That was a setup for a blessing. That was a setup to take you deeper. That was a setup to give you more knowledge, more insight, more understanding. That was a setup for God to show you even more so how blessed you are. That was a setup even more so for God to show you how he has your back. 
that was a setup. For the world, for others to be able to see and grow in patience and grow in faith because they seen where you came from. And they saw how low you were. They saw how your spirit was so crushed. And they saw the hurt all over your face. And although you tried to hide it and mask it, you can't fake energy. I couldn't fake my energy. And after the 18th, man, it took me a week to make a video. It took me a whole week, a whole seven days before I could do another video. Because I had been so crushed. So hurt. <laughs> and as trip is, I don't remember when the pain left. I don't remember the exact moment that the pain was gone. When the hurt was gone. When the embarrassment and the shame was gone. I don't remember when they left. All I know is they're gone. All that matters, they're gone. And I don't wish anyone any ill will. That's amazing for me. It might not mean anything to you, but that's a testimony to my growth and development. I'm not angry. I'm not bitter. I'm no, uh, I'm no longer hurt or devastated by what they did. I'm grateful for their actions. Because had not they had they not did what they did, God couldn't do what he had to do over here. It was all part of the process to take me to another place. To bring me closer to God. To show me, Elijah, you could lose it all. Again. Oh, and just like that, it can be replaced. And just like that, you can get your joy back. You can get your peace back. You could get your love and your excitement about life. You could get all that back. You can get your hope back. You can get your voice back. See, because when we go through things in life as chaotic and devastating as that was, we tend to stop talking. We tend to just go into shutdown mode and stop trusting other people. We tend to isolate ourselves and think everybody is out to get me. But as you work and grow through the process, man, you gotta bring people into your life that you would not have met. And they'll be a blessing to you. You don't have to orchestrate, you don't have to manipulate. You don't have to connive and scam and do all the stupid shit that we do. You don't have to be like that. Just stay connected to God. And watch as he open up doors for you. Watch as he roll out the red carpet for you. Man, 
my hope and prayer is that I've said something to encourage you. I love you. Happy healing.